The virus is spreading faster than they expected. In such a short period of time, the world is a different place. All remnants of your past life is gone, and you're not sure if you can trust the people you're with. Welcome to Louisiana, one year after the zombie apocalypse. So now all law enforcement's gone, which is, you know, what happens in an apocalypse or two. So we just got moonshiners and crazy survivalists out in the forest. A zombie apocalypse doesn't just happen. There's always a kickoff, a catalyst, and this story is no exception. So we had a witch doctor who actually poisoned the moonshine and created this apocalypse. Company Z is a zombie paintball experience where you are led through the backwoods of Louisiana looking for a man who may be immune to the zombie virus. So I sent them in there to look for this guy, Joe Bob Dugan. I've not heard back from them. I've been calling them on the radio for a week now, nothing. I'm fearing the worst that they're both dead probably. So we basically have the same mission that they had. The mission is to go in and extract this guy. I actually like to describe it as live theater in a forest rather than a paintball game because the customer does not get shot and that's actually the beauty of the entire game. <laughs> this live forest theater is adult centered and recommended for ages 14 and older. It's scary. So the customers go in and they're, there's such an adrenaline rush to do this game but it is so funny because our characters are if you can imagine um, dangerous moonshiners crossed with the trailer park boys, it's pretty much what you get. The first zombie paintball was hosted in Vancouver two years ago. It had its first season in Nanaimo last year and is now being hosted out of the Midway paintball field just outside of Duncan until mid-November. And let me tell you, this is an experience like no other. I put this together uh, collaborating with paintballers. Um, actors, LARPers, filmmakers, and it just all came together. Well, the mask is to help you uh, prevent blood getting into your eye because uh, a couple of my friends turned without ever being bitten. They just had blood splatter in their face and, the, and a day later they were zombies. What do you say? Headshot's the best shot? Headshot is the most likely uh, thing that will take them out. It's also the most efficient thing. All right, well, I got my bullets, I got my gun, Let's go kill some zombies. This is just a way for us to simulate actually shooting a zombie. We have paintballs with red fill, so when you shoot them, it splats blood. <laughs> and it's quite fulfilling, actually. If you're worried about the zombie's safety, and this is probably the only time you'll ever be concerned with the zombie's safety, don't be, because they are fully armored head to toe. So safety is our number one thing. We don't let people get within 10 feet of the zombie because, yeah, people definitely get so into it that, you know, they could kick a zombie or punch a zombie and that's end of the game <laughs> right there. Zombie and apocalypse culture seems to be growing. Why are we so obsessed with the end of our own civilization? I think they're like the modern day monster and people fear them, but they love them too. Um, and I think it also reflects people's deepest fears about, you know, sort of the ultimate catastrophe. So whether you love them or you hate them, you can always have a good time shooting zombies in the woods. From Duncan, I'm Meg Cuthbert.